Hello and welcome to another studio vlog. In this vlog, the flea market finally happens. Me and Ali actually set up and we get it done and we have a good time. I'm definitely gonna talk more about the flea market at the end of this video, so definitely stay tuned. I'm just gonna give you some tips, uh, what's going on for the future of our flea market adventures and our whole takeaway from the experience. Uh, in this vlog, you will see that we get Lily, uh, even though you have seen her in the last video in the intro and outro, this vlog we actually got her, so we have had her for a while now, and she's a little devil and annoying, but that's what a dog is supposed to be, right? <laughs> uh, I also do a sketchbook spread and just get back to art making because I've really missed it. I also do some shopping because I was pretty stressed out just before the flea market, uh, so I relieved some stress by spending some money. <laughs> uh, but I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, definitely like, comment, subscribe, you know, the whole gist. Uh, and these videos come out every other Tuesday, uh, so I can get some good content in there for you guys. So I will see you at the end of the video, and... Hello, I am just finished painting all these squares right here. I have the rest of them and I have one 8x10 print. These are all 5x7 size. So right now I'm going to go ahead and start stamping them. Uh, I'm going to start with the green because that's what I started with first as far as painting so it's dry already. And yeah. I have to stamp all of them. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do more. This is a weird angle. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do any more of them just because it was a lot of work and a lot of paint. And I'm gonna have to charge more for these just to make up for all the paint I use. Like I'm out of white, or at least my small white is completely used up. So I might have to think about that when I price them because they are handmade. So let's get to stamping. Hello, I'm back with an update on everything. So let me get, well, I have this one, which is the eight by 10 print that I'm going to sell. And I love how everything turned out. I think this is exactly what I imagined. I love this. I might have to make another one for myself, but that's a later thing. This is the kiwis on the five by seven, the blueberries on the five by seven, the bananas on the 5x7, and the cherries on the 5x7. I really like how all these turned out and I'm actually very excited to sell them. I think as far as pricing goes, our original 
prices for 5x7 and 8x10s. Um, a small 5x7 is $7 and an 8x10 is $10. I think as far as the paint cost and the watercolor paper that I'm using, um, I'll probably price the 5x7s around, no, let's just do $10, say $10 for the 5x7s and $18 for the 8x10s because I did use a lot of paint for it. So uh, I do need to get more watercolor paper in order to do more 8x10s and maybe some more 5x7s, but so far so good. So exciting, exciting. <laughs> I just finished making this sketchbook page. Um, I really just needed to take a break from doing all this stuff for the flea market and just kind of produce some art. So I was really inspired by uh, Leia Alexin, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Um, I actually bought the landscape color set from Prismacolor to try out 
some colored pencils on top of my gouache. So I used it to make some grass and just kind of shade in everything and I think it went really well. I have been doing just so much stuff just for the flea market and not really doing any art. Um, and it's just kind of made me go into like a creative rut, I feel like. And it's, it feels good to actually work in my sketchbook again. Um, I haven't worked in it since, well, it's been like almost two months. <laughs> yeah, so it feels good to just do art for me and not for selling. Uh, so I'm really happy with this spread. I just, I love it. I love, I love doing landscapes. So that's like where I feel the most comfortable um, creating something because I kind of understand them and it's not something branching out too much, but I really wanted to incorporate these colored pencils to try something new so I wasn't just like sticking to the same thing as I usually do. Um, yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna do for today though. I'm just, I'm pretty tired. Um, as you know, we got a new dog, so I kind of want to go play around with her and hang out. So I'm gonna go do that. And I'll see you later, I guess. Okay, bye. <laughs>you like to talk on the matter of the flea market? Um, no thank you. Oh, okay, goodbye. We sold a good amount. Jake's helping. He looks so happy. He's the happiest man in the world. Look at that. Show them the famous globe. Oh yeah, people keep asking how it's much this globe like is. I don't know why. Why are so many asking? I mean, I like, got it from Big Loss. <laughs> like, this is an art booth. But people are like, they come up, look at everything, and they're like, how much is this cloak? Look at this cloak. Look at that. How could you not want to buy this cloak? <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice cloak. It is. It's the same as those three, these two big ones. Mm -hmm. 
These are the medium. Okay, Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here you go. I don't have a bag or That's anything. That's okay. I have my car right there. Okay, come on. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank okay. you. I just wanted to make sure I can. Oh, thank you so much. Sure I would make it on time. No, thank, thank you. you. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hello. I just got out of Michael's and do a little car haul. I gotta do this quickly because I gotta turn my AC back on. First, mixed media sketchbook in black. Uh, I got this yarn, this yarn, <laughs> this yarn. <laughs> and this yarn. Yeah, those are the colors. I'm gonna do some checkers. Oh wait, I'm miss definitely missing a color. And this one, I got some mini canvases because Paloma the Peach inspired me to do my own like mini art just to kind of get back into painting. Um, I'm not going to show you every single one of them, but I got a lot of Prismacolors. Isn't that just a beautiful color rail right there? And then I got a yellow shirt because I wanted a yellow shirt and it was only $3.99. So, yep, that's it. Thanks. Bye. It's hot. I'm sweating. <laughs> Trying to find some cool plants. Let's see. Hi, welcome to the end of the vlog. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, as you can see, I've got new plants um, sitting right next to my fig, fiddly fig. It's right there. And um, also, my monstera got a new leaf. Look, it's right there, that one. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I wanted to talk more about the flea market at the end of this vlog. Uh, I'm gonna start with first just our general experience at our first flea market. So this one was a very small flea market, um, probably around 50 vendors there. So not a lot of foot traffic um, as expected, but we did get some art sold and we did make a profit, which was the whole goal um, to make a profit on what we had spent uh, as far as the vendor fee, uh, the ink, the paper, the time. <laughs> So we did make a profit. And as far as how much this booth costs, it was actually on the cheaper end. It was $50. So me and Allie split that two ways and it was 25 for each of us, which is pretty cheap. Um, we are looking at other places to go to and it definitely gets up there with the vendor pricing. One tip I do have, if you are an artist and you are going to sell your art or products, especially if you're selling originals, I highly recommend not going to a flea market if you are selling originals. And I mean that wholeheartedly because if you're selling originals, you're probably pricing them pretty high because you put a lot of work into that and you're also factoring in paint cost and just effort to create that. And people are going to flea markets to look for a deal. So definitely keep that in mind. But if you're selling something small like what me and Allie were selling like prints, then you're, do you're gonna do pretty good. Our experience was setting up at 7.30 in the morning, <laughs> which 
is way too early for anyone, I would say. Um, but the vendors had to be there from around 7.30 to 8. Some people came late, so we know that for if we ever do that flea market again. But yeah, expect to be setting up very early. The flea market started at 9, so we were there from 9 till around 4.30 is when we left. Even though it went till 5, people were breaking down and stuff like that. So, And there weren't a lot of more people coming, so we just started breaking down and left. And also understand that when you first start, do not expect people to be there. <laughs> and I mean that like sincerely, like don't expect people to show up at nine in the morning because that's just not feasible for some people. And it's just not true for also like people my age. I feel like not everyone's waking up at like 6 a.m. to just go to a flea market or something like that. So we got a lot more foot traffic after like one um, when people had just started their days and they were like, oh, here's a market. So let me check it out. So that is what I, I'm saying. Don't have your expectations too high for the morning time because a lot of people won't be there. Also, if you are selling at a local flea market like we did, know that art is not the priority there. Um, if you sell at an art market, I'm sure it'll be different, but a flea market is, art is not the priority. So if you're going to do a booth, I would re recommend having a variety. Um, as you can see in the vlog, I actually talked about, um, people all wanting to buy the globe, which was decoration that I paid $5 for like two years ago. <laughs> um, so I don't know why people wanted that, but they did. Uh, but Definitely have a variety, maybe sell some clothes, sell some other handmade stuff you have, anything that will show people that they have a lot to browse through when they go to your booth. I also recommend buying a tent. Buy a tent, don't think about it, you're gonna need it um, because we were expecting it to rain a little bit and it did in the morning, um, which kind of sucked, but Allie had gotten a tent, so we were all set and if we didn't have that tent, our prints would have been like soaked and just ruined. So definitely buy a tent because these flea markets are rain or shine. So you want to be prepared and also if it's shining, the sun is beating down on you and you will be in pain. <laughs> so we were sweating and we were under a canopy. So definitely buy a tent. Uh, they have them at Dick's. I think ours was around like a hundred something dollars, uh, but definitely buy a tent. Now, as far as what we're going to be doing in the future for flea markets, we're actually going to be branching out and going around New Jersey. Um, our next one is in September, which is going to be the Meadowlands flea market, which is completely different than our local market because that has like 200 to 400 vendors because it's huge. It's a huge market. So we're going to have a variety booth where we're going to be selling art prints and some of the clothes that I resell like on my Depop and I'm going to be making candles and possibly clay pins and crochet things. We're going to have a huge variety. In September, I'll announce the date exactly when we're going because we're going to be scoping out the location and seeing what uh, types of vendors there are and what their booths look like just to get some inspiration. Um, another one we're going to be we're going to be doing too in October. There's going to be one at the art market in Asbury, um, which is right on the shore. So definitely come by. Uh, the date is October 23rd. We've already reserved our spot and our booth has been approved and we're just going to be selling our art there because that is specifically just for art. So we hope to do pretty good there and we're doing another art market in October. I'm not sure exactly the date, but we will be at that one and I'll have the location details whenever we get approved to sell but yeah definitely if you're selling art i highly recommend like just art go to art markets um look around you a lot of people at the flea market were telling us like what art markets we should check out and try to go to instead of just doing flea markets just because people are going to flea markets for a deal and at the Meadowlands flea market, we're going to give them a deal and a variety. So we're going to have our prints and if you buy multiple or you buy it in conjunction with an item of clothing, you can get a deal on the art we're selling so we can sell what we've made. And I'm definitely going to be making more prints of the ones I sold, which leads me to my like surprises um, at the flea market. A lot of prints 
that sold were the ones I weren't expecting to sell, which is really weird because I, I like, I didn't expect the art that I made to sell that well. I don't know why. It's just, I think it's just the artist mindset that you value your art so differently than other people do. Like when they look at your art, they're like, oh, it's amazing. Oh, oh I want this so bad. But when you make something, you're just like, oh, this is, this is, uh, this is shit. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. Um, so a lot of the prints that sold the most um, were the ones I wasn't expecting whatsoever, which made me feel good about the art I was making and it showed me what people like to see. Um, one of my top selling prints was actually a gift I made for Allie, like for Christmas. It was um, a Volkswagen and it was just like on a mountain, you know, driving and a lot of people seem to like that. And that was the one that I think it almost sold out. We sold out of like the small prints of it. Um, and a couple of people bought the bigger one. And another one that sold a lot were the like pastel buildings I had painted. A lot of people like that one. And the cat passage was another big one. So a lot of people seem to like like as far as my art, they seem to like the more themed pieces. When you look at your art, like definitely ask other people's opinions before like you start making prints of them. Like I asked my boyfriend's opinion, like what print should I make? Like what would you buy if you were looking at this booth? And so that really helped. Um, but having a variety is very important too. So that's all I really had to say about the flea market. If you have any other questions, like comment them down below and I'll let you know like the, to the best of my ability like what I can say about it um, but that's it for me today I hope you enjoyed this video um, please subscribe there will be more content coming every other Tuesday and I hope to see you in two weeks I guess uh, so yeah subscribe like comment do all the things and I'll see you guys soon okay bye